Scotty's working on the pilot car system mock up right now. Yeah, just laying out where the roads are going. Yep. So we're in the roads here. We're going to turn around over here, right? Yeah, it's going to turn around in front of the layout. So it's going to go under a tunnel inside there and turn around. Okay. And you can see all the streets laid out there. But I'm still working over here. So over on this side. And we gotta. Oh, it's gonna come around here and turn around and go back this way. You know, the building's in here. Okay, super. All right. So here's gonna be where the track is for the TGV, the station here. A little lower than the yard up above. And we run right beside. Bill is actually working over here. And we're going to have the double viaduct right there. Hey, Bill, working on the uh, track bed. Yep. To go over to the station that will be on the American side, which will be back here where the clamp is. All right, this is the signal logic board, which Jonathan is working on right now, programming. Yep, just uh, just beginning to start testing the, the targets, making sure they're turning on and off, and the sensors are seeing them, that's all. <coughs> Can you explain so, a little bit what's on the board and what the yep. LEDs do? Sure, so this is the the Arduino here, that, that's what everything is going in, in and out of. These are little sensors for the track as, or for the, for infrared. And there'll be little triggers that change things, uh, change the aspects of the signals. And um, those come in up here. Then on the top here, this is where all the actual signal lights are and they all have three colors. So there's four wires all together for each signal light. And each one of them is controlled with this little uh, gate here. So when it tells, uh, let's say your green light for signal one is gonna come on, that means that's the pin number for this. Once it goes on, it supplies power to this chip and it closes the gate and provides a ground for the, the green light. While these are off, um, while the other two colors are off. So only green will come on and if it's yellow, then green will shut off and yellow will turn on, red stays off. So that's how it is for all the signals here. And uh, there's also gonna be some turnout uh, relays too that click on with the tourist machines and they'll get read by, by these little um, um, capacitor inputs here going into the Arduino so we can get some, some aspects, ch aspects changing if there's a turnout thrown the wrong way or something like that. Okay, and you're programming the uh, Arduinos on the uh software down there on your yep. laptop right yeah on the on the arduino program app so all right thank you and so i think you have a signal already plugged in here if i'm right i think well signals signals there is it on nope is something on i know that if you go over this one it should yeah it went on did it yep Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> you can't see it from where I am. So he's got infrared here that will be adjusted to the proper light in the, the room at the time, right? Yeah. If this one goes on, if I turn green again, over there. Is it green now? Nope, it's red. It's all red. Now it's green, the bottom is green, yep. Yeah. All right. Timothy's working on installing the signals. So you got the signal towers. G style. And those who as he splices them, he'll bring it down. 
just like this signal is, and it's wired right underneath. European terminals, so it's easy to change out if need be. Just try to get your fingers in there with a little screwdriver to change it out. Of course, these wires are all gotta be tied up, so neatened up a bit. And we have the actual panel here that is controlling the detection circuits as well as the main power to the blocks. This is panel one. And slide over here, this is also gonna be a signal panel. Correct, Jonathan, this one huh? here is gonna be a signal panel? Yeah, that's some more signal, yep. More signals on this one, which isn't there just yet. Okay. We're getting ready to lay the file of road system down on this level. It's gonna go over here by the station and then turn around and come back. And actually gonna go underneath in a hidden tunnel area, turn around and come back. And we do have the European Mark 1 signals that are going on for the European side. They're not mounted yet. Uh, they're just placed right now. So you can see the wires hanging down. But we got the distant signals on, the home signals. So this would be for the European side. We can see we have a lot of them sprinkled around. And then on the American side, we have target signals for block signals here. And controlling the switches in the yard here. Okay then. Mm -hmm. Run house lights are on. Yeah. Okay, ready for the TGB test. Going through the river area, huh? Yeah, nice and smooth. Through the mountains. And into America. You must have went through a real long tunnel. A real long tunnel. <laughs> real long tunnel. <laughs> All right, great. Thanks, Bill. You betcha. Oh, he can't switch over? No, I just uh, kind of closed loop, so I put a... Closed in loop? Yeah, put a wire in there, so it's there if you want to. And we have the FedEx truck coming. When we got that order from uh, Mike Monaco Mundo,
Does the bus have another stop? No, yeah, just that one over there. Just that one? <laughs> All right, thanks, Scott. Let's see, let's do a short test on the Union Pacific. Turn the sounds on. We've got some cars hooked up for them. And let's see. Okay, Timmy's working on the signals there, so. Hey, Timmy. Hi. Working on the signals? Yes. All right, lighten them up. Yes. Cool. Little update on the signals. This is a Marklin signal. This is the home signal. Right now it's showing red. And now this one is a block signal showing green. But the block is okay ahead of us. Now, how about a little fun with the merry-go-round? Yes, this is going to go on the carnival area. And now we also have the bumper cars. Awesome little amusement park sets. So coming along and starting to place some of the structures here. Scott's doing. He's now going to be putting in the traffic control system. You can see the lights that he's got there, waiting for some more parts. Right, Scott? Yep, I need more parts. It's working though, <laughs> otherwise. And it looks like he's got the fungula getting ready to go. The funicular. Funicular. Yeah, yeah I can never say that thing. Somewhere up here, maybe. Hmm. Just figure it out. But... Got a building, got a station, that's cool. And uh, coming right along. Get all your engines out here now. Just gotta get the passenger set. Well, Warren, that's our update. I hope you liked it. We're coming along.
Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like, and also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be up to date when we post a new video. If you want to see more, check out some of the other videos on this channel, and also visit our website, slatrains.com. There you'll find updates on the current projects we have going on now, and also contact information so that you can reach out to us and we can start building your dream model railroad.